I'm a co-chairman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I would like to present a study about the efficacy of Brahma activity spinal system in the correction of the adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. The study was performed at the Brahma activity hospital, Mahidol University, Thailand. The adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is the most common deformity that found in adolescent age. Uh, the difficulty of the operation is depend on the degree of the curve. With a large curve, the correction is more difficult because it was stiff and very hard to mobilize during such curve correction. In the past, we have many kind of instrumentation to correct such deformity. But in the past decade, the posterior approach with all pedicle screw have proved their advantage in correcting this deformity, even a large curve more than 90 degrees. In our hospital, we use the Rama TB spinal system that was uh, Invented by one of senior co-investigator, Professor Vichyan Lahajaran Sombat. Uh, from this slide, you will see that this system is a plate and pedicle screw system. And there is a locking mechanism between uh, nuts and plate that provides additional stability to the construct. And it also acting like the locking plate. The objective of this study is to evaluate the uh, outcome of the RSS construct with chart fusion technique in adolescent idiopathic scoliosis in terms of coronal and surgical correction as well as the percentage of correction in, of the different curve magnitudes. And we also compare our results to other studies. This is a retrospective study that was performed during 2006 to 2008. 43 patients were included into these studies. The inclusion criteria is the patient who have adolescent idiopathic scoliosis who have aged between 10 to 20 years. And uh, we measure the cop angle, and then we divide the patient into three groups based on pre-operative cup angle. The small curve is the patient who have curve less than 45 degrees. The medium curve is the patient who have curve between 45 to 90 degrees. And the large curve is the patient who have cup angle more than 90 degrees. We use the PAT test to analyze the difference between pre- and post-operative curve. In this study, we use the chop fusion technique to correct the deformity, which used two to three screws less than usual. And uh, instead of using the pedicle screw at the end vertebra, sometimes we use the plate to buttress on it instead. We believe that with the surgical technique, we can preserve the motion and flexibility of the spine. And our goal in the, in, in the correction of the large curve scoliosis is, is to realign the trunk balance into nearly normal and uh, preserve some flexibility with the spine. We avoid to fix it too rigid. This patient has a uh, medium curve thoracic scoliosis with a uh, cup angle of 58 degrees. We used the short fusion technique and the cup angle was reduced to 15 degrees. Uh, this patient also has the medium curve with a cup angle 80 degrees. From clinical appearance, you will see that this patient has a uh, very uh, poor balance, poor tongue balance, and the cosmetic appearance is not, is not so good. And uh, we also use the same technique with the uh, lower with the plate to buttress in the lower end vertebra. And the cup angle was reduced to 12 degrees and uh, post-operative clinical appearance show uh, improvement in the trunk balance and alignment. In this case, they have a large curve scoliosis with the cup angle 92 degrees. The plumb line was shifted to the right side and we also used the shock fusion technique and we used the plate to buttress at the lower end vertebra here. Uh, the cup angle was reduced to 45 degrees and the plumb line was brought back to midline. This table shows the demographic data and interpretive data and you will see that the number of the label field was increased in the same direction with the curve magnitude. The result, in the coronal correction, it shows significant improvement in all groups. Uh, the average correction is about 50 degrees, while on the surgical correction, is improved mainly in the small and the medium curve, while in the large curve, the improvement is not significant. We have one complication in our series. This patient has a late infection that requires implant removal. Uh, the curve is still stable after implant was removed one year after surgery. Uh, in the past, we succeed in the correction of this deformity by using the conventional technique, like this picture. But we believe that with a shorter fusion, some physiologic motion can be preserved. And from our studies, it shows that the short fusion technique is shown effectively in terms of coronal correction. The cup anchor was reduced significantly in all groups. And the average final follow-up at two years is about 50%. That was comparable to other studies. 
this live view review author study that used the conventional technique and we found out that our short fusion techniques show means of deformity correction relatively close to other studies. And we also found that the correction was mainly improved in a small and the medium curve while on the large curve it improved only 39 degrees and in the surgical correction the kyphotic anchor was significantly improved only in a small and the medium curve. So our conclusion from this study is the I just construct with short fusion technique what effectively in the correction of adolescent idiopathic sclerosis with a curve less than 90 degrees. While on the, the, on the curve more than 90 degrees, uh, some additional procedures such as uh, anterior release combined with the short fusion technique maybe improve the outcome uh, and the result. Or the conventional technique still may be the good option for the curve that was too stiff. Thank you for your attention.